All right, welcome to a robot adventures thing. <clears throat> All right, so I'm going to make this one. This is just the intro. Come by. Bing. Children, dumbasses, stupid people, Republicans, any um, bot politician, people who support them. Well, we, I don't know if anyone really supports the politician, but don't watch this. This is not for you. This is 148th scale. Please don't fall over, wine. Okay. Um. 148 scale. I don't know how that scales with the other stuff. I don't think it scales right. I think the other one was like 170 something. I could be wrong. And uh, it's a box, so. Oh, shit. Robot Adventures just went bungee jumping. Oh, it has a little terrain thing there. Can I get an autofocus? That's kind of nice. We'll see how that works. And apparently Ewoks can kill it with um, with the logs. So, we'll see how that goes. Alright, let's open it up. This looks pretty time consuming. A lot more than um, those other figures I made. So, this looks like it's going to be fun. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get, it's, uh, it's not, a uh, at-at, it's, a uh, Imperial All-Terrain Scout and Transport. <clears throat> I, I wonder what the at-at was. Attack Transporter? Or Army Transporter? Anyway, let's make that and I'll show you what it looks like. Alright, welcome back to the after I made a thing. I'm pretty close up on it. And I'm a little bit under the weather. I, couldn't, I, I finished it up like two days ago but I wasn't uh, in the mood to review it. <clears throat> Took some cold medicine. Coughing and shit. Um, <clears throat> not really sure how this is going to work. I want to rotate it around and show you what it looks like. Um, I'm sure you've already seen it. But, um, yeah, it looks pretty cool. Lots of detail in there, lots of detail. Uh, lots of really small pieces. I actually lost uh, one of the pieces. I'll show you to you. It's one of the leg pieces, but um, some... Some parts don't even need to, um, no, they're so small. I'll just give you a top view and then a, a bottom view, but, uh, looks like you can do a lot of, um, a lot of, uh, detailing with, uh, like, a some kind of wash or something, um, similar to what I did with my Gundam, um, which is over there, next to the Dremel. But um, I'll just give you a quick one, and then I'll go into the t details of it. Um, Twenty bucks. I'm thinking for a model. Um, it's of this, I guess, detail. It's pretty good. Uh, it's c kind of. Um, I don't know if I want to say it's master grade quality, but, um, or even real grade. I mean, if it was real grade, it'd probably be a lot smaller, but, um, yeah, it's, you know, it's a Star Wars figure, and it, we didn't have these before because of the licensing agreements, but, um, yeah, it's got a lot of nice molding details, and I think, uh, you can do a lot with that, uh, paint wise, so. Uh, if you're a really big Star Wars fan, then it's probably something you want to pick up. Even though, I mean, it does have some movement in some of the joints. Um, you can move 
and you can move the turret around and stuff like that. It does have some mobility here and um, the knee flexes a little bit but uh, not that much. The the gun does move I think a little bit yeah oh shit and the side um, yeah they move also. Um, you do have some options with um, with like a longer shield there or uh, Ruben you got the shield upside down and you can uh, go with it with a open hatch or a closed hatch uh, and a Chewbacca so you can stick your Chewbacca up there and he can ride it up in there um I didn't press it down and set it in place but um, you can do that uh, you got the options for the closed or open um, viewports there. Um, let me try to get into some detail and show you some some stuff that I think was pretty nice. All right, so let's see. If we're gonna look into the top there without putting the thing into a shadow. So much molding details all over here and you know, so much you can do with that paint it up and you know make it look all cool but you won't be able to see it if it's you know if you get the top on there so a lot of uh, nice detailing there um, the plastic comes in two types it's this nice uh, hard plastic and also the rubber hoses are very uh, flexible there so that's pretty good all these little rubbery parts they're pretty nice um, I did lose one of these pieces here they're so small that little piece is one and you clip that out and that other piece right there was also and they're also here on the on the back on the heel. I don't know how well it'll focus, but one piece is right there. And there should be one right there. However, I lost it. So that wasn't good. As you can see, there's one piece there and one piece there, so it's it's next to my drum set somewhere, but I'm not really sure where. Um <clears throat> Yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it. it do oh shit! It does come with uh, a couple of. Um, it's got some water slide and um, some regular uh, stickers. His yeah, stickers, dankles. And um, yeah, the the paint job on it. I mean, if you painted it up, it. It looks pretty nice. You can see all the black um, wash in there, all the wash in there. And for people who are new to um, model making, um, the wash is just a really diluted. Um, um, black paint or some kind of paint and the pigments will be left in the in the crevices and in the in the, the seams right there so it will give it a look of um, like use and wear and tear and then you can just put the wash on there and then later you can wipe it off and although like the black will will be left in there I'll give you an example. Here's a age Gundam, and what I did with the vents there is uh, I, I used the wash and I just kind of put a bunch of black in there, and it stayed after you cleaned it up. So it's uh, kind of an easy technique. I guess 
if you're getting into painting then it's you know the next level but yeah you can get into all the crevices all the all those lines right there but um um do I recommend it the ATST uh, it's good uh I think it's a nice thing to build it's a, l a little bit more complicated than the than the Darth Vader uh advanced tie fighter there over there um and if you're a big Star Wars fan, it's only 20 bucks. I don't know what that would cost you in the U.S., but uh, I don't know how it compares to um, some of the other model kits that might have licenses. But, um, yeah, it's a, it's a good thing. You know, take a look at it. Uh, 148th scale, I think. That's what it was. The size of... Uh, of um master grade Gundam there so about 30 no, not even 30 kind of small but um in comparison all right guys um this has been a robot adventure ATST figure review um let me know what you think Talk to you guys later. Gamba. Bye bye.